a nasty three-piece combo. So hitting hella unsolicited emotes. Starts hitting the meanest weaves to all six of Hachi's swords. Then through a wall and starts flexing right after. Arlong is big chilling until Rubberman bursts into Arlong part. It's like, which one of you flat foots is Arlong? So then two of Arlong's men, which we will dub Fodder A and Fodder B, they try to stop Luffy from walking towards oh, Arlong. And so Fodder B grabs Luffy, and then Luffy gives us one of the fastest, most disrespectful double kills in all of One Piece. Luffy then cocks his arm back and chooses violence because he decks Arlong in the jaw unsolicited. So Arlong starts doing some barrel rolls from the hit lambs into the wall and once the smoke clears he's like bro i don't even know you then luffy tells him since he crossed nami all right pinhead your time is up so later we see the pet of arlong park which i'm gonna dub fodder c and you will see why in a second so luffy puts both of his feet into the ground and then grabs fodder c and begins spinning this man around and i'd like to mention that luffy is using fodder c to absolutely decimate arlong park so after we see just pure carnage as luffy is straight up soloing arlong park by himself so then he challenges arlong but i feel like oda was like damn i let this man cook too early in that last attack luffy jammed his feet too far into the ground so he ends up stuck so luffy tries to hit arlong with another right hook in which arlong was kind of smooth with it then arlong uses his other arm to grab luffy out of the ground luffy punches arlong in the mouth and bro that was a mistake because arlong straight up munches on this man's hand now a normal character would react like this but luffy is a dog so he straight up hits a kakarot special and straight up bit this man right back then arlong launches luffy into his little seawater pool which sidelines luffy for the next three episodes so Hachi's feeling good that he has a forearm advantage on Zoro, and so this man decides to catch Zoro's swords mid slash and goes 0 for 3. So later in the fight, this man decides to go upstairs and grab six blades, and that's when Zoro passes out from getting no diff by Mihawk in the last arc. While Sanji was looking at Zoro fight for his life, he gets sent packing out of nowhere. Going back to Hachi, this man must have had training with the air nomads because bro starts using the swords to make a tornado. So once Zoro saw that Hachi was kind of cooking for a second, this man's battle hungry critical HP looking ass decided that it was time to run the ones. Then on my life, this is one of the coldest Zoro scenes because as Hachi is running at this man, and with the way Hachi was looking, we're gonna use running as a loose term. So then Zoro catches two blades and starts hitting the meanest weaves to all six of Hachi's swords and really set X marks a spot on this man's chest. Later. He charges at Zoro with this goofy, but low-key effective oh, no. attack and then headbutts Zoro and launches him. So then bro starts spinning his swords and heads to where Zoro's gonna land and I was like, damn, this man Hachi is really using anti-air moves out here. Once Zoro hit those swords, it looked like Hachi hit Zoro with a fatality, but in reality, Zoro managed to slash all six of this man's hands in mid-air. And it was at that point I waved the white flag because I knew this fight was a wrap. If you can't win with the anti-airs after launching your opponent, you ain't, you're not winning that fight. Then Zoro styled on this man and hit him with a finisher and had this man touch in the sky. So after taking that hit, Sanji is just lying down smoking his cig and he's like, I know this man did not just sneak me back there. So back in Arlong Park, Bro has that fist at a dangerous angle when Sanji out of nowhere kicks Bro and was like, I heard you like sneaking people. So then Zoro's like, Luffy's been in that water a while. So Sanji decides to be a team player and hops in to go get Luffy. Now, this was an error, because as soon as Sanji was about to help Luffy, Bro got straight up clotheslined in the back of his neck. And since Sanji gave this man a free domain expansion, since he's a fishman, he starts absolutely cooking Sanji. After that, Sanji tries to go up for air, but bro beats him to the surface and pulls up on demon timing and is like, where are you going? So he dead ass puts this man in a hidden lotus position and starts dive bombing and the water pressure is going crazy look at sanji's stomach indent then sanji hit a jimmy neutron brain blast out of nowhere because he realizes that if he blows air into this man's gills he'll suffocate but i ain't gonna lie seeing this it was looking kind of freaky this. once they're back on the surface i had my mind ready for a 10 minute fight but sanji said hell nah 
because once they square up to fight again, bro starts going on a rant and in the middle of his sentence, Sanji decks this man in the face. And bro's brain is still trying to process that kick when Sanji hits him with a disrespectful ass kick then hits him with a nasty three-piece combo. So once this man gets up, he's winding up that last-minute attack. Like, he's, he's trying to hit this man with a spirit bomb when Sanji just vanishes out of nowhere. Then Sanji pops this man in the face so hard that Toei had to bless us with the instant replay. And Sanji really kicked bro in the next year. So, this fight starts with Usopp hitting the dash. Chewie's like, damn, how is he so fast? And you know what? Chewie's right. How is Usopp so fast, Oda? What are you trying to say? So, it looks like Usopp dusted that man. And then Usopp, no lie, starts hitting hella unsolicited emotes. Then Chu pulls up on demon timing behind him. And Usopp looks at him for a split second and then hits the race immediately. So later, it's looking like my boy Usopp got got, but bro has level 20 deception because it turns out that pool of blood is actually ketchup. So YouTube, please, please be merciful in this video. I repeat, that is ketchup. Then this man tried to season himself with some dirt to make it seem like it was a hard fought battle. Then this man started feeling guilty and then yells, Hey Lips, we ain't finished running this fade. Huh? So Chu starts running at Usopp and he's getting the slingshot ready and shoots Chu with an exploding star that actually did negative damage and then hits this man so hard that he bounced off the ground. So while Usopp is at critical HP after doing his best to tank that hit, this man Chu literally starts kicking him while he's down. Then Usopp pulls out the legendary Usopp hammer and snipes this man's ankle. And Usopp was in bro's head after that because he had this man flinching off of a rubber band. And when Chu opened his eyes after flinching, he saw that my man hit the Houdini. So then Usopp throws a bottle of alcohol and shoots it in midair, getting alcohol all over Chu. So then Chu sucks up the river that he's near and starts lighting up the forest that Usopp's hiding in. After decimating the forest, Chu pulls up to where Usopp is at, and then Usopp hits it with a flaming star, and since that man was covered with all that alcohol, that shit was very effective. So Chu starts running since he's on fire and Usopp is on the prowl now because he starts chasing him with Usopp hammer on deck and hits this man with the meanest 360 barrel scuff you've ever seen. Chu is not looking so hot. And when he starts to get up, Usopp really said there ain't gonna be no round two because he just starts wailing on Chu with that hammer. So they launch Luffy out of the water and bro is just as happy as he can be. And at the same time, Arlong has Zoro in a death grip. And in midair, Luffy reaches out and grabs Zoro from Arlong. But he did unfortunately rocket this man Zoro who was at 1 HP. So coming down, Luffy stretches his head back and headbutts the shit out of Arlong. So then Luffy is just laying 100% pure hands on this man Arlong and then punches him through a wall and starts flexing right after. So then Luffy's getting ready for round two and hits the goofiest stretch I have ever seen. And Arlong's gonna need to spend the rest of his life in Impel Down after losing to somebody hitting that kind of stretch routine mid-fight. Then Luffy starts roasting the webbing on Arlong's hands and Arlong couldn't take the fish man's slander and starts trying to bite Luffy. So then he grabs Luffy by his neck and then pins him to a pillar and then tries to bite this man's noggin. But Luffy hit a crazy looking dodge. And Usopp's like, his teeth should be shattered after that. Bro, this man brought down the entire roof based on him biting one pillar. So after seeing his life flash for, before his eyes, Luffy said, I gotta take a little time out real quick. Then Luffy grabs some swords and starts trying to fight Arlong with him, in which he was most definitely not oh cooking. So Arlong ends up breaking both swords, and on the last one, he destroys the sword by biting it, which he shatters with his teeth, but Broken deadass regrow them in like two seconds. So then grabs two sets of his teeth, puts one in each hand and starts trying to go crazy on Luffy with them. So Arlong is putting the pressure on Luffy and gets him to trip. And it's looking like another fatality has happened because Arlong is going absolutely stupid on Luffy. But then we see Luffy actually oh, used it, another fishman as a human count. shield to take all those bites. So later in the fight, Arlong managed to finally land a bite on Luffy. And bro, this man Luffy just straight up made his arm buff as hell. 
and then he yeeted this man Arlong into the ground. So it's now looking like a close one with both of them laid out. So once Luffy gets up, he's like, where did Shark Boy go? Then we see a fin in the water, and honestly, I don't know why Arlong would even let Luffy know where he is, but I guess he really had to rep that he's a shark. Then man straight up torpedoes out of the water straight towards Luffy landing into Arlong Park. Then bro takes one look at Luffy and starts torpedoing again. And I would like to say this dumbass attack didn't work, but Arlong was kinda doing his thing. So then Luffy turns his hands into a net and catches this man, starts spinning, and ends this man's whole career. So after taking that last hit, Arlong starts getting those crazy eyes and grabs Luffy and starts spinning him around like an old t-shirt, and then launches, bro. And Arlong said he's really about to start cooking and grabs a crazy looking sword. And so he starts going after Luffy and bro is really mad because he is just going absolutely ballistic on Arlong Park trying to get to Luffy. So later we find Luffy in what I would like to call not an optimal position when Arlong starts talking shit about Nami. So then Luffy put his hand on the blade and Arlong's flabbergasted because he's trying to move it and it won't budge. Then Luffy who's clearly angry breaks the blade. And it was at this moment I knew Arlong shouldn't have been talking shit to the MC. So then it cuts back to Arlong biting the hell out of Luffy. And this man did one of the most disrespectful moves in all of One Piece. Because he straight up grabs this man's nose, snaps the shit out of it like it's a twig. Then Luffy gave him the I ain't fucking around anymore eyes. And at that point we knew it was a wrap. So Arlong charges Luffy again as he was getting ready to yeet all of Arlong Park into the ground. And bro really took a shot that wasn't meant for him because goddamn Luffy decimated that man with that kick. So victorious, we see Luffy standing on the remains of Arlong Park. You Winner, win. Luffy.